Hi everyone, it's Jasmine here and welcome back to my channel. So this video is going to be another recipe video and I'm going to be showing you how to make some Hokkaido cheese tarts. So if you're interested in making these, just keep on watching. So we're going to make the pastry to start with. So for that we'll need 125 grams of plain flour, 30 grams of powdered sugar or icing sugar, one egg. So I don't know why I only put the egg yolk here, but it's definitely one egg. I'm sorry guys. One teaspoon of salt and 80 grams of butter. So now we're going to put the flour and the butter into a mixing bowl. So now what we'll do is we'll rub the butter onto the flour. So we're aiming for like a breadcrumb kind of texture. And this is something that you would have when you're making scones as well. Then we're going to add in our powdered sugar and our salt. And then we're going to add the egg. Obviously, I also added the egg white to this. And then we're just going to mix this until it is well combined. I'm also just going to transfer this into a flat surface. So we're not making bread so we don't want to knead it too much. So as you can see, I'm sort of just pressing it and trying to get them all together. I'm also going to cling wrap this and put this away to chill for about 30 to an hour in the fridge. So mine is completely rested. I'm just going to unwrap this and I'm going to start dividing it. So this recipe only makes 12 tarts. For this video, I want to make six small ones and two big ones. So what I'm doing right now is I'm trying to weigh 25 gram to 30 gram pieces of dough and I'm going to roll them into a bowl. So I don't have proper tart molds, so I'm just going to use my cupcake tray. So what I'm trying to do here is I'm trying to press the dough onto the mold. So I'm trying to press the sides and also the bottom of it. So using a fork, we're going to create little holes at the bottom just to make sure that they won't rise up too much while baking in the oven. Now we're on to the big ones. I actually have proper molds for this, so I'm just going to use them. Don't forget to dust your work surface with some flour to help you with rolling the dough. What we want to do is we want to thin out this dough to about 2 millimeters.
Now we're just going to place the mold on top of the dough. We're going to leave about an inch while cutting around the mold. This is not how a circle should be, but this would do. We're going to tuck the dough into the mold, so make sure that you press on the sides and at the bottom as well to make sure that the dough is taking the shape of the mold. So now we're going to trim the edges using a spatula or a knife to make our tart shell really beautiful. So once again using a fork we're just going to make little holes at the bottom. Also to make sure that this doesn't rise up too much in the oven, I've decided to put some rice on top of it to make sure that you're lining it with baking paper. Don't worry, I've used this rice multiple times and I suggest that you put this in the jar once you've finished using it so you can use it again. So now we're just going to put this on the tray and we're going to bake all our tart shells for about 20 minutes at 180 C. I've just taken this out of the oven and I'm just going to let this cool down for a little bit. So while waiting for our pastry to cool down, we're going to make our cheese custard. And for that we'll need 30 grams of parmesan cheese, 125 grams of mascarpone cheese, 1 tablespoon of corn flour, 1 egg and 1 egg yolk, 1 fourth cup powdered sugar and 1 teaspoon of salt, 30 grams of butter, 100 ml of full cream milk, 125 grams of cream cheese, and 1 teaspoon of vanilla extract. We need to turn on the stove and set it to low heat. So basically we're just going to melt all of our ingredients and combine them together. Right now I'm just going to use my whisk because it's a lot easier to stir and mix. Now once everything is fully combined, we're going to turn off the heat. We are now going to add our eggs 
as well as our corn flour. Once the corn flour and the eggs are well incorporated, we are going to put this back on heat. Then we're going to whisk it until it thickens. So mine looks like it's ready, so I'm gonna turn off the heat now. I've just transferred this into a mixing bowl to help it cool down a little bit. I'm going to cling wrap this and I'm going to put this away to chill for about 30 minutes to an hour. Just going to put this in the fridge. So after cooling it down, I'm going to put this in a piping bag. I'm just going to use this nozzle. Now we're going to pipe some cheese custard into the tart shells that we made before. So as you can see, it doesn't have a flat surface and we'll be able to fix that with a spatula. If you don't have one, you can use a bread knife as well. Now I'm just going to egg wash these. For the egg wash, I just used the egg white that I already have from the egg yolk that we used before. And to that, I added a tablespoon of water. Once this is finished, I'm going to bake these for about 15 to 20 minutes at 180 C. Don't forget to preheat your oven before starting to bake. After 15 minutes, mine are looking beautiful, so I'm going to take these out of the oven. I'm just going to cool these down a little bit before serving. While waiting for our cheese tarts to cool down, I'm going to make myself some cacao tea. I know that this would pair nicely with our cheese tarts. Hedwig has always been a curious cat and we rarely tell him off. 
sure he's allowed to sniff my thoughts. There you have it guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any other recipe that you'd like me to try, please let me know in the comment section down below. Also, if you've tried this recipe, can you please let me know how you went? I would love to hear it. Thank you all so much and please do subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Alright guys, it's time for afternoon tea. Until next time, bye!